Hey designer Alex here welcome to the channel and in today's video we are going to create this responsive menu animation so when I click it's going to slide in and it's going to collapse all of these items and when I click out again it's going to reveal them once again so let's get started Alright, so here is our practice file for today's tutorial. If you want to get this practice file, make sure to check out the link in the description of this video. Simply click the link, download the practice file, open it up if you want to follow along this tutorial. So, right here I have my background image and I have all of my icons which we are going to use. I also have my Poppins font which is free Google and Adobe font. And here I have my background color for the card itself or for the menu background. And I have the white color which is the color of my text as well as for all of my icons including my uh, outline which you're going to see in just a second. So, to get started what I'm going to do is actually drag and drop my image inside and I'm going to place it here and then here and of course depending of your image you're going to get the different result you can flip it, you can rotate it, you can position it however you want because that glass morphism effect is going to take place however you rotate your image and depending of your image and the colors in your image you're going to get a different result so I really recommend that you play around with these different settings and I'm going to show you that in just a second so let's get started with the rectangle I'm going to choose it drag one out and choose for example 10 for my corner radius I'm going to keep my border color and I'm going to right click and apply border, border color so I'm going to choose white for this one and I'm going to click right here and lower it down to something like 40 percent because I don't want it to be too bright and too visible. For my menu itself, I'm going to choose something like 500 with 960, something like that. I'm going to make sure to snap it in the center and basically the only thing which I'm going to do is click right here to apply the background blur. Now you can play around with these positions uh, as much as you want. The more opacity you have, the better of a glass effect you're going to get and the less transparency you're going to get in the background. You can of, of course play around with these settings, with the amount of blur, with the brightness of blur and uh, you're always going to get the different result. What I was mentioning before is you're going to notice when I start moving my image and let's lower this back down to zero. When I start moving my image around you're going to notice uh, the see-through effect becoming a little bit different. That's all to do with your image as I mentioned uh, at the start. Uh, we added this slight border color just to differentiate it a little bit and you can see it right here and of course the higher the opacity is the more of an effect that's going to have but as I said I'm going to keep it to something like 30 or 40 percent let's go with 40 and I think that's going to be just fine next up let's start with our avatar and I'm going to simply choose one image from my computer but you can use whichever image that you want and let's get started with it I'm just going to draw a circle and I'm going to use the same effect so I'm going to apply my border color right here to be white and for the dimensions let's go with something like let's see maybe 48 by 48 that's going to work just fine and let's see I'm going to leave it here for now now let's get started with the text straight away and I'm going to type in my name so Yana let's go with Kohanova or whatever you can choose whichever name you want and let's see perhaps we can position it to be 40 from this something like this and in terms of the avatar let's position it to be 40 from this edge and let's see perhaps uh, 50 or 60 from the top edge so let's go like this let's go with 50 and I think uh, we are going to do just fine with that now let me quickly bring in my image before we get uh, going on something else and of course you can use the plugin for example there is an unsplash plugin right here you can go and check it out right here uh, to uh, apply uh, all of these images or you can simply drag and drop your image like I did from my computer so let's rename this it's going to be our avatar and this is going to be our menu background and let's group these two like this and I'm going to call it avatar and straight away what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to apply the mask so I'm going to come right here and use my rectangle you can position it outside it doesn't really matter I'm going to call it mask something like this 
and basically that's it so i'm going to try and use my avatar so let's first mask it so shift control m i'm going to call it mask like this and what i'm going to do actually is a drag a guide so i'm going to snap my avatar and i'm going to use a guide from here come right here to snap it into position why because i want all of my icons to align properly to here so let's now work on our icons i'm going to go ahead and drag and drop all of them so we have home we have search but no let's first close this folder i don't want it to go into this particular mask of course you can and that's going to be the easier route if you want to just to create one mask but for this particular uh, example i'm going to create multiple masks so once again let's get started with these icons i'm going to drag and drop them inside just be careful not to drop them onto existing uh, components because it's going to replace them with that particular component like this and straight away i'm going to come right here because if you remember we chose 50 for the distance on the top so i'm going to select this logout icon shift one two three four five to be 50 from the top and now that i've done that i can select all of these icons make sure they are right aligned like so and i'm going to make sure to position them it's a bit tricky to select them so let's go like this position them like this i'm going to straight away put them in a group i'm going to include a stack and give them distance of 60 then remove them from the stack remove the padding and ungroup this and i'm going to position them like this and you can see that stack positioned them originally how they should be now i'm going to bring them back into the group just to organize these a bit better to put them in the center like this and make sure that this is in the center remove my uh, rectangle and ungroup them back again now i'm going to jump inside and select this text hit ctrl c hit ctrl v put it in like this and i'm going to type in home ctrl d i'm going to type in a search ctrl d once again uh, this is going to be let's say library like so this is going to be notifications and finally this is going to be logout and let's quickly organize them i'm going to make sure that this is in the center like so like this like so if it doesn't want to go then you can simply select both of them because we still need to uh, group all of them so hit ctrl g and then jump inside and organize them like this and finally we have our home now for the home i want to simply choose a selector to be here on the side so to do that i want to simply drag one out like this and simply make sure that it's the same uh, height as my house as my home icon and for the width i'm going to choose something like five or ten let's see what works better maybe ten there we go i'm going to remove the border and here i want to style it just a little bit because you can see all of the corners around it i'm going to come right here to the top right apply five maybe or if it's too big let's go with two and bottom right let's go with two as well just to give it a bit of a stylized option now this is going to be our selector and i'm going to duplicate it and simply position it right around here like so and i'm going to move it here then extend it a bit if you remember we did 48 by 48 for our um, avatar image so let's bring it to here make sure that we snap and i want to just make sure uh, that i'm here i want to bring it this back to zero and i want to apply uh, here and here so let's go with top left this time and let's go with bottom left and i'm going to simply type in five just to round up these corners and let's go let's see what we can name this for example collapse bg because this is going to contain our uh, icon now i forgot to uh, add this icon so i'm going to add it right now and apply it so you guys are going to get it uh, in right here so you can use it straight away when you position it in the center what you can do is hit ctrl g to group it and i'm going to call this collapse and now basically what's left for us to do is to group all of these 
and to give them names so for example this is search and I'm going to group these three like so call them home search we have our library notifications and finally we have a logout right here at the bottom now what we can do is we can approach this many 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 different ways uh, what I did in my original example is I simply chose uh, different masks but I want to show you different example and to speed this uh, up a little bit so what I'm actually going to do is organize this so we have avatar we have this collapse we have home then below home I'm going to put in my search below search I'm going to put in my library notifications and finally logout is going to go back to the top so what I'm going to do is actually ungroup these unmask them and I'm going to choose this mask hit Control X Control V to paste it on top and I'm actually going to come right here to this edge and simply move it for example I don't know 10 pixels so shift and right arrow and then I'm going to actually extend it all the way down to here if I lower down the opacity you can see where it goes just make sure to mask uh, the actual text in this case but I'm actually going to take it further and mask this entire section all the way to here so then when we collapse the mask we can go back to around here so what that's going to do is uh, mask all of our text inside but it's going to keep all of this content on the left so I'm actually going to uh, move the collapse out so it's not mask and I can select all of it hit shift Control M to mask everything and I'm going to call this menu mask for example then let's group all of them hit Control G and I'm going to call it like side menu and of course as I said you can apply different approach you can mask all of them like I did in my original example but we are just doing that uh, here to show you different examples that you can achieve hit control or command K to turn this into a component and now I'm going to add a new state call it collapsed and inside of the collapse state what I'm going to do basically is just um, apply a different value so for this particular value we can use something like 180 so go to the menu for the width let's go with 180 something like this then I can jump inside select my mask simply mask all of my items right around to here then I can choose my collapse bring it back to here zoom in make sure that I move that one pixel jump inside of my arrow and simply rotate it to this side and that's it that's how simple this is to achieve and now that I've done that I can simply remove uh, this guide I can go back to my default state switch to prototype select my selector collapser however you want to call it choose tap auto animate destination is going to be collapsed let's use snap in this case 0 0.8 seconds and collapsed use the same one click right here go to the default state snap 0 0.8 and let's see how that looks like let's hit control or command enter click right here it's going to collapse click right here it's going to expand so once again some quick notes make sure to adjust the level of this blur however you want and make sure to use different images in the background to achieve different results of course you can make this transition to last a bit longer or a bit shorter however you want and also make sure to always use this outline just for the presentation purposes uh, of course uh, it's going to be a bit uh, hard to access a design like this where everything is white so just make sure to think about the colors and your background image and how you use it but in this particular case it works just fine so that's it for this tutorial thank you so much for watching it i really hope you got some value out of it if you did make sure to subscribe to the channel i upload new videos every single week right here on the channel all about adobe xd design passive income techniques and much more so if you want to see more content like that make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one take care